Introduction to Modern Software Development Practices Continuous Integration Delivery and DevOps In today's workplace, we all have to do more in less time and with fewer resources. If you do not manage your time properly, then you won't deliver your project on time and suffer stress. In nowadays, time is money and being able to respond fast is a key advantage that drive the whole industry. The fourth pillar of Agile Manifesto is responding to change over following a plan. And for such need, new concepts in software development has been shaped to accommodate such need. And to drive organizations to meet the huge demand of speeding delivery, agility, continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, testing automation, containers, and microservices architecture are few examples of such new concepts that are driving and shaping the whole industry nowadays. In the old ages of development, where everything was slow, waterfall development methodology was adequate to operate huge and long projects, and in some time even very long projects that span few years of sequential phases of software development phases, analyzing the requirements and get customer sign-off, creating the architecture, doing the high-level design, doing the low-level design, start development that is divided into milestones that can span months, do the testing for the finished milestone, and fix the bugs, do customer acceptance testing, sign off that milestone, and start over. Bing Bang approach that was accepted when life was slow, and the pace allows such slowness, now agility is the king. Scaled Agile framework started to appear, and being implemented in huge and distributed organizations, everything now is urgent, the deadline is always yesterday. It's obvious that old style can't fit now, and we need new way of developing, testing, and delivering our code and projects. Continuous integration and unit and functional testing. Continuous integration was firstly introduced around 2006 by Martin Fowler opening a new window of possibilities of fast and development life cycle. In a nutshell the concepts introduced were as follows. 1. Maintain a single source repository. As a simple basis, everything should be maintained in source repository, and it must be accessible from IDE. In ELM we have unified the IBM Rational Team Concert widely known as JAS. 2. Automate the build. Getting source code into a running system can often be a complicated process involving compilation, moving files around, loading schemas into the databases, and so on. Build scripting widely used in ELM for various projects and technologies like Ant4.NET, Maven for Java and Gradle for Android. 3. Make your build self-esting. Here comes the role of unit testing to automatically determine if the code in the build is working and not breaking the compilation and changes of a developer is not killing another developer changes. Another way of testing the just created build is to deploy it in a contiguous integration CI environment and fire selenium or functional tests to test certain functionalities to make sure system is well behaving and build is correct. 4. Fix broken builds immediately. In cases where build is broken either in the compilation phase or functional testing on the build process is failed and team members notified, and it must be fixed immediately to keep clean code always on the mainstream. So in nutshell, continuous integration is a practice to continuously integrate code from all team members together, compile it, build it, deploy it to CI environment, and test the build on the level of the unit and functional testing, and announce success or failure to everyone, and let the team fix any error immediately regardless who wrote the broken part, it is the team's. In Elm, build is automated through the Jazz build engine JBE, and few build scripts written in Maven, Ant, or Gradle, unit test is executed against the just packaged build, deployment to CI, environment is also done automatically and sell and new and tests are fired into the freshly deployed build. By the way, Elm has just brought one of the best testing automation tools which is IBM Rational Green Hat that also enable doing testing virtualization and external stub mocking to ease and speed testing. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is a mystery that everyone speak about nowadays. So what really is it and what is the difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment? Before we continue, let's explain few terms. Deployment pipeline. It is the train stations that the code must go through till it reaches production. Quality gate, a gate that has some conditions to pass the code from a station to another. On the deployment pipeline, it can be manually through a quality resource or automatically through an automated unit or functional testing or even security penetration testing system. Continuous delivery. 
continuous delivery is to be able to deliver your code through your deployment pipeline all over the way up to just the step before production. Continuous deployment. Continuous deployment goes that extra step and do the deployment on the production automatically. Although auto deployment can be done using simple scripts, like explained in continuous integration, maintaining a pipeline, and being able to handle complex scenarios such as multi-component applications, managing different environments, handling complex deployment platforms and systems, providing the ability to roll back and have full control on the deployment pipeline mandates to have an auto-deployment tool. We evaluated 12 different tools and did three proof of concepts. We selected IBM Udeploy. And guess what? Now we have three projects use Udeploy to automate and manage deployment and communication with QA. And the feedback is awesome. Development feedback is now communication with QA regarding deployments is release smooth. QA feedback is now deployments are easy, visual and more controllable. Thank you. So after this, what is next? We need you to start think about how to utilize the tool set we have for your good. Think about this scenario. The developer write the code. The code get tested in his IDE with unit tests. Then he pushes the changes to the JES. A build is fired. And during the build, all unit tests from all team members are executed. And if all OK, the package is deployed into CI or QC environment for functional testing. If the developer is ready to send a build to QA, all what he needs is to request build and deploy from JES so the whole life cycle will be executed. And an email will be sent to QA to notify him that a deployment is awaiting his approval. If he approves, the build will be deployed automatically to the QA environment. Moreover, IBM Green Hat functional testing can be triggered automatically as part of the cycle as well. Security scanning and penetration testing can be done with IBM Apps can automatically as well. This complete automated delivery cycle from unit testing, build automation, deployment automation, functional testing automation, code security scanning and penetration testing automation will decrease the bug leakage rate dramatically and boost Elm delivery quality. DevOps is a fairly new term that is overused nowadays, and it brings misconceptions. Is it development and operations collaboration? Or is it treating your code as infrastructure? Or is it using automation? Or using Kanban? Or is it a tool chain approach? Or culture change? DevOps is a blend of two different worlds into one new responsible team with one unified goal. That is to share ownership, responsibility, and commitment, where operation and development engineers participating together in the entire service life cycle, from design through the development process to production support. DevOps is also characterized by operation staff making use many of the same techniques as developers for their systems work. Werner Vogels, Amazon CTO set it up one of the important principles in DevOps. If you wrote it, you run it. If the developer gets the call at 2 a.m. for production issue, Sure, he will write the proper log statements that enables him to solve the problems. Operations has changed completely. It is not a hand work where people go to the data center and move boxes around. Now infrastructure runs as a code where you can scale up and down by running few lines of code or configs. Elastic, responsive and reactive infrastructure is the common nowadays. Agile methodology stops at creating system features and it offer nothing beyond the boundaries of the source code of the entire delivered service. DevOps brings agility two steps after developer stops writing code and it complete the agile picture. At early days of DevOps, it was called agile operations. To understand DevOps, like agile you need to understand all related perspectives, DevOps values, DevOps principles, DevOps methods, DevOps practices, and DevOps tools. DevOps values they are captured in the Agile manifest with one change of focus on the overall service and delivery instead of simply working software like in Agile. DevOps principles, holistic system thinking, removing silos, have rapid, useful feedback, and automate drudgery away. DevOps methods, Scrum, like in Agile can be used with the expansion of the scope of operation and have holistic coverage to activities beyond code. DevOps practices, continuous integration, Continuous deployment, using configuration, management, metrics and monitoring schemas. A tool chain approach to tooling, even using virtualization and cloud computing is a common practice used to accelerate change in the modern infrastructure world. DevOps tools, release tools, like Jenkins and as build engine configuration management, like Zookeeper, Noah, Mesos, monitoring tools like Elasticsearch, Splunk, virtualization and containerization tools such as AWS. OpenStack, Vagrant, and Docker. 
At the end, we had achieved few success stories with teams worked closely with us for automation. And we are encouraging each one of you to work with us closely to enable his project to use tool set we have. Change is inevitable, and we need to be ready of not ahead. Finally I want to thank the teams behind all these efforts, see you soon. Sultan Ibrahim al Muhammad Ismail Mustafa Ahmed Khalil Abdel Nagud